would be here. I whispered my words to Lillian. I can help, I feel a little overwhelmed on entering the restaurant. The guests here and even the place itself give off an air of class. Class that I'm not accustomed to. Lilia, maybe, but not me. I'm suddenly insecure about my appearance. I don't know whether I am under or overdressed. It's Lily. And don't worry about it. I come here all the time. I just really like the feel of this place. Interesting. Just some time back, I came here with my aunt. We released really ourselves that day. We're barely able to get into the car. Oh my god. That was before she moved. Also, my dad sometimes brings me along on one of his days. Hmm, I think the last one was, what, a month ago? He never takes it any further on date or do though. I guess he never got over man. I don't really know what to say here. I was going to such as we find a table first, but now that she touched a sensitive topic, it's just hard to stop her once she gets talking. Ah, hello! Do you have a reservation? Oh, yes, we have a reservation for 8 o'clock until Lillian Garland? The timely arrival of the host snaps Liam back to the present. He consoles his clip off for a moment before looking back about smiling at Mabry. Your table is prepared. Follow me, please. Oh, it's one of those places. Liam gives me a bright smile as if saying, see? <coughs> Thus, at the table to the far left of the hall. Here you are. These are your menus. Your server will be with you shortly. The man bows and backs away. I'm not sure what we're doing here or what Lillian has in mind, but I decided to just go with it. Lillian has been looking at me with an unpredictable expression for a while now. You look really beautiful. That dress really suits you. Uh, thanks. Is it not... I was worried it might be a little reveling. Huh? No, it's perfectly fine. You should see some of the other women who come here. Was I supposed to sound reassuring? Hmm. You did your hair, too. Leon eyes me approvingly. Did you style it yourself? Yeah, I look up some pictures. Only by looking pictures? Wow, it turned out really nice. I could never do that. The most I can manage by myself is this. She indicates her own hair. It looks nice. Really? Somehow I get the feeling you're saying that just to be nice. I I'm not. Okay. Hmm. What's the matter? Nothing. I was just... You did all this just for... Just because I asked you here? Well, yeah, since you told me to wear a dress, I assumed it was going to be a place like this. I didn't want to stick out. Did I overdo it? No, no, you didn't. Leon is just so happy that you did so much for her in the place and your date to get because it's a date. Oh, okay. That's a relief. Lillian doesn't say anything, but she looks happy. Oh? The waiter comes with your delight. I don't know about Lillian, but it was mostly because I was nervous. I don't know what half the things on the menu were. A problem of expensive restaurants, you don't know what the fancy names mean. Conversation is slow and just an occasional common or remark. Lillian is uncharacteristically, un uncharacteristically quiet. She's also acting pretty jittery. She chopped her fork once and wouldn't stop blushing until a good while after. In the end, we couldn't even finish what we had ordered. The 
dishes were clear, but neither of us moved. I was mostly waiting for Lillian to say something. It was obvious she had had something in her mind the whole time. Lil close. I nearly called her Lillian again. I don't want to get her upset now. Um, Lily, is there something? Do you, do you know why I called you there? No. Then why are you blushing? Oh, yes! Yes, yes, oh my god! I always get so overexcited the romance in visual novels. It is a good visual novels. I'm not. I can see it. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, so pretty! She does a, a really extra move bent over at the table here. But oh my god, that's. Oh. They would make an interesting couple. But what the. They would make an interesting couple. But what about Sam? I don't know what about Sam. Is he dead already? We don't know anything about Sam and that's why I feel conflicted because it seemed like they were together and everything and he will gone very sick and she's doing all in her uh, might to like uh, heal him like the doctor from Switzerland and everything and here she's on a date but so cute oh. she reaches out a hand to touch my face I don't pull back this time. Lillian, what? Her hand traces my cheek as she slowly brings her face closer to mine. We've never been this close before. I became aware of a distinct scent, something I had become accustomed to on some vague level over the past couple of weeks, but I could never quite place. The scent of gardenias. Ina. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh! Oh! That's so sweet! I'm being way too excited. It's a game. It's a game, Angie. It's just a game. It's so sweet. I really like the story, how it, they story, how it developed. And what I love the most in this game is the fact that there was no, uh, no way to tell there would be romance when you start playing and you don't know the game. I didn't expect romance at all, and yet it happened. And actually, I couldn't. Do the romance and made it possibly accidentally, really accidentally to be true. Lillian kisses me. I remain stunned for a few seconds and sure of what's happening. My surprise were self and I find myself laying into it. I still want to know what is something what's happening to Sam. You know, Ina, remember, Sam? I always I remember. I remember the feels they caused me. Lillian is gentle and careful with her movements. Her lips are touching mine so lightly I can barely feel them. Or maybe that's just because of how soft they are. I realized I'm not at all that surprised after all. In fact, a small part of me may have been expecting, well, not this, but a confession of some sort. She slowly pulls back. Feeling slightly dazed, I hold her gaze for a moment. Before her relations down on me. She just kissed me! Oh yeah! And you kissed her back! You know? You did! 
I have no idea how to react. They are both they are both so shocked. I I um I you don't have to say anything. I don't. Well, actually, uh, how? How was it? You didn't dislike it at the very least, right? No, I didn't. Okay, okay, that's good. Leon sighs in relief. That's good. Goodness, just how impenetrable are you? I didn't know what I was going to do to get through to you. God. She covers her face with her hands, having turned a bit red. I'm sorry I didn't... I was confused. I had an idea, but I couldn't be sure. Then say something for goodness sake! You didn't make this any easier on me! Ah, poor Lillian! Poor, poor Lillian! The poker face and that monotonous way of talking don't help one bit. No, that's a little harsh. But she's kinda... she's kinda right. You are a little bit like this, Lena. To be honest, I am still very confused. Police, the main mystery is stopped now. I knew... I told you, Ina, like that night when she was talking with you, so you can't say it was a mystery. I told you everything, you just didn't believe me. She had a pretty roundabout way of going about it, but that's probably my fault for being impervious to social cues. I feel silly now. Having a hard time believing what just happened, I look around. The place is packed, and then just in front of all these people? It's alright. Most people come here for the sense of isolation, like they are the only ones here. They don't care anyway. 